I want to show you guys uh, a technique that you can use to create the roof of your uh, log cabin. Um, so I'm going to start here just by, uh, I've put together whatever there is, I don't know, 10 or something logs there that are going to make up the uh, the house. Now, looking at it from the top, you can see they are, uh, they're all stacked on top of one another. Now, the roof itself, it's not going to be made out of logs. Log cabins, I don't I don't think you could find one that's made uh, out of logs. Instead, it's going to be an actual, like, uh, you know, rigid sheet that has a bit of a slope to it. So I'm going to go and make a box here. And I'm just going to make it about the same width as the actual uh, the logs there. And give it a little bit of thickness, something like that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is on that box, actually, maybe I'll just move that box up a little bit. Something like that. Basically, uh, there's at a certain point, um, this is roof is actually going to come up, kind of form a, a triangle, um, and then uh, and then everything below it is just going to be regular logs. But everything above it, I kind of have to cut the logs to fit, and that's what this tutorial is all about. So on that uh, on this box right here, I'm going to go to my modify tab, and I need to make sure that I have two width segments. Now, depending on which uh, viewport you made your box, it may actually be too length. You basically just need something that you can pull up from the middle to create that peak. So you'll see it more clearly in a second, but I've got, I'm really happy with the, uh, the segments right there. I'm going to go to my modifier list. I'm going to put on an edit poly so I can actually edit it. And I'll go to my vertex mode. And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to do it in this viewport right here. I'm going to click and drag to select those vertices and when I do that and I drag it up I'm now creating the peak of my log cabin now I'm gonna just angle it down a little bit I don't want it I, I've only made enough logs there for it to kind of uh, go <laughs> that's too many because I don't want to put that so I'm just gonna lower this so I put just enough so it'll work there so if I look at the actual logs now this one would have to be cut a little bit this one this one, this one, and this one. So all together there's about five of them that I need to cut. Now you may also want to, uh, you know, extend it out just a little bit so it goes past the logs. It's kind of up to you how you're, uh, how you're wanting to design this. Oops. Something like that. Okay. So from here, this is going to be my actual roof. All right. That's pretty important. Now, in terms of cutting it now, or cutting those logs, I'm going to move that back and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm just going to hold down shift and I'll duplicate it out. Now for this case, I don't need to have the roof that big for what I'm doing here. This is just going to be, I'm basically going to make pieces that will work for the cutting things out. So I'm just going to use my um, scale tool and I'll grab the Y axis and just, just like that. It just has to be a little thicker than the, uh, the logs themselves. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. I'm going to slide it back over top of my wall so the, the uh, roof now is kind of cutting through the logs on both sides, which it is. And remember how I said there was about five logs that I'd have to cut? So what that means is I need to make five copies of this little mini roof that I made because that's what each one is going to cut out one part of the log. So now if I hold down shift and I just drag that out and I'm going to say uh, make four copies, there we go. Okay, so those are all going to be things that are going to help cut out my roof. So I'm going to start by selecting this first log here, the lowest one that's being touched by my roof. And I'm going to actually, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to go over to, um, or sorry, over here, I'm going to change it from standard to compound, which we've done. I'm going to go to pro boolean. I'm going to start picking. And I'm going to pick that roof. And you can see it actually just cuts things out nicely there, okay? And then I'm gonna go back to standard primitives. Then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna move it so it is going through just like that. And now I'm gonna pick the second log. So I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna to go to compound, pro boolean, start picking, and now let's cut out that one. And I'm gonna continue this, so I'll go back to standard, now, depending on uh, how comfortable you're feeling with this, you may start realizing that you could actually bring all of these <laughs> over top of one another, um, and it would save you a little bit of time. But right now, I'm trying to do it you know, a little slower so you guys can all kind of understand. Um, 
go to the log there, compound, pro boolean, start picking. There we go. And I got two more to do. Okay, looks like I'm picking that one. Compound, pro boolean, start picking. And now I have one more, whoops. You always have to go back to standard primitives or else you might uh, actually eliminate what you're trying to do. Uh, there we go. And click that one, compound objects, pro boolean, start picking, and there we go. So now I've got this cutout of the logs. Now it's looking kind of weird <laughs> because those logs are still gonna be floating there, which we don't want. So from here, it's pretty straightforward. Um, what you're gonna do is, whoops. You can see I was still in uh, Boolean mode. From here, you're basically gonna pick any of these logs that have those floating pieces. So like this one right here. And if you put on an edit poly, you should be able to go to vertex. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna delete those vertices there. Okay, and then I'll come over the other side and I'll just delete. You just have to delete a few of them. It seems to work pretty well. That one left a little bit hanging there. Okay, just be careful of what you're actually deleting though, right? So then I'll go over here, edit poly, go to my vertex, and I will delete those guys. And there's a few more hanging around there. Delete those. You can see if you get a few of them, it just kind of collapses the whole shape, right? So it's pretty easy to delete them. Um, over here, we'll go add a poly. And then I'll just do my last one here. And then I've got these just little floating guys. Get rid of him and him. There we go. Okay. So now I've kind of taken this log cabin and as if I had an actual saw, I've cut those perfectly so it's going to fit my roof line just beautifully. Now before I actually uh, bring the roof over on top of it, I might as well just select all of those, hold down shift, duplicate them. There we go. Now I can take this. Of course, my roof's too small. Bring that over. And there we go. Now, of course, I still have to do the sides or whatever, but I, and I, you know, I could put a door, I could put a window, uh, whatever you want. For the technique of a window, by all means, you could just uh, use Boolean technique, right? You could make a big square or a cube, I should say, and uh, you know, just do a Boolean out of all the different logs. The other way that you might want to do it, which is which is pretty easy, um, I'm gonna go over to my uh, to my vertice or to my modify tab here, and I'm gonna change the number of uh, height segments. I don't really need that many. So I'll just do one's actually fine for this. Let's change them all like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just going to um, use the edit poly to drag them to the height that I want or to the length that I want. So I might just go, okay, put an edit poly. And as you can see, you just put edit poly on just everything, right? Take my vertex, we'll drag them right there. And if you wanna be really, really precise, you'd probably do it in a view like this. And hold on, I'm just gonna make this from the back. There we go. And I can just stretch that out to there. And then take this one, edit poly, go to my vertex, grab that one end right there. So I've selected all of them and then And I am dragging it right there. And I mean, depending on how big you want your window, you could continue, right? I could do it with three logs, four logs, whatever I want. And then I might just take both those guys, right? And if you select one object and hold down control and then select the other one, it selects both. I could bring those over like that. 
And again, make sure that you're lined up, right? You can see that's not very good right there. Just tuck it over a bit. And, you know, if I didn't want to have a window that was that wide, I could just go into this and go to my vertex. And then same thing on this one. There's another way you can get into those. There's your vertex right there. Oops, oops. let's grab that. Like that. Then I could put kind of a wooden frame in there and eventually I'll show you guys how you can uh, add some glass. Okay, so that should uh, keep you going a little bit for uh, customizing your cabin.